Hello, welcome back to my channel and welcome new subscribers. It's lovely to have you here and a big thank you for subscribing. Also, hello, hello to anyone who may be clicking on my channel for the first time and this is the first video that you're seeing. I've got a feelings pick a card for you today, okay? We're going to be looking at how they're feeling right now about you. I am kind of feeling a more mellow energy, but it's like some of you are going to be having the calm after the storm. Like currently, um, that's what's happening and is to come. Because there is a pocket of energy where there's been some arguments, okay? I'm just picking up an overall energy before I get into the piles. I have Khaled on in the background, okay? Um, some of you, you may be a fan of his or there's a particular song that reminds you of your person. Um, yeah, a, a definite romantic vibe, okay? So these are going to be people you're thinking of, you know, romantically. Okay, so we've got four piles, pile one, pile two, pile three, pile four. As always, see which pile you're drawn to the most, okay? If you are picking multiple people, it's fine to pick, you know, multiple piles, but pick the one that you really, you know, truly feel drawn to for your person. Um, okay, you can pause the video if you need more time, all right, guys? Otherwise, I'm gonna begin with pile one. I hope you're all keeping well, making plans for the summer, whether local or away, going abroad. Okay. All right. There's one more thing before I begin. I keep seeing a location that is very hot. It looks like an island. Um, and I hear the month of August. I don't know if some of you are planning to travel during that time or some of you actually could be moving to a place like this. That's what I have. Okay, that's a side note. <laughs> but it's so lush and so beautiful and I, yeah. Because I see some of you going up to the top of it. It's not a mountain, but it's like hilly, but very greeny on this island, like going up to the top and taking a picture, like, hey, taking a selfie. Okay. All right, let's get into part one. Welcome to your reading. What are their feelings right now? Let's take a look at the overall energy. Okay, we've got the venerable man. So first of all, what I wanna say is, the person's feelings here are serious. And it's not serious like, oh, you know, this person doesn't know how to have fun or something like that. No, it's just this person is actually feeling some type of stability towards you, some type of commitment. And when I say feeling it, it's like this person hasn't done it yet. I have that it's something that um, it's like it's been waiting to come, but it's a major card. It's a major energy. And there's an energy of their feelings going up a level. That's yeah, that's more accurate. It's something here has increased. And you see how the, this is the venerable man card, by the way, which can represent the husband, you know, somebody who's becoming enlightened. So here it's like their feelings have expanded. Their feelings have become more serious towards you, including their intentions. And it's like the light literally came on, you know, something they weren't seeing before or feeling before rather, because we're looking at feelings. Um, but seeing is also relevant. Um, that, that That's now happened. Okay. Okay, let's see what else. How else is Pal One's person feeling about them right now, cards? The truth and only the truth. Thank you for your messages. Can we have some more information on the venerable man here? Oh, <gasps> the venerable woman. <gasps> this is the man and wife. Ooh. Okay, so there's a few things here. First of all, I have it in Pal 1. This can be your husband already, okay? Um, you can be married as, as a couple already. There's the group of you that are a couple, and now you're about to make this more official. So they're feeling right now that they want to make something more official with you. As I say, there, there has been this kind of energy of it's been waiting, it's been a bit overdue. And the reason you've come to this uh, reading is because it's like there's been some doubt perhaps in the action they've been taking. 
but it's right on time. Here it's like divine timing. We've got a divine couple who are either already together in that commitment and it's just this person uh, needed some time to... It's like they had some baggage, you know? It's like they had some... You see how there's a, there's a beggar here on this card. So it's almost as if they had something from their past still like pulling them, which made it seem like there might be something off. But no, this person is still very much with you. And as I say, those of you um, that haven't got to the marriage stage yet, that is coming. This is clear. This is man and wife. Even if you don't have the ring yet or the document, you know, the piece of paper, it is coming. They adore you. And this person, when they met you, they already knew you were the one. They were bringing up this before you. That's why in a way, for those that haven't got to the engagement stage yet or the marriage stage, you've kind of wondered, did they mean it? Like, what's going on with them? Yeah, something was haunting them from their past. Hmm. Okay, this is a specific side note for someone. Here, it's like they had to separate from family. Um, in particular, could be a brother. Okay, they had, to, they had to leave some family member behind, family members. But I just know it was like their past. And this is what has... They've had feelings of guilt. Guilt of being happy. Guilt of living their life. That's been one of the delays as to why... Even though they were all about it, yeah, you're my wife, you're the one for me, and they weren't making it happen, they, yeah, that's what it's been connected to. So it's not about you having doubts about you or anything like that. Okay, what else here? You know, how they felt about you never changed. You've remained the wife, the wifey. Love of their life. Okay. Okay, nine of swords, queen of wands. Yeah. So there's definitely been some worry here. Yeah. Okay, let me just see more, guys. Okay, what else? How is Pat? Oh. <laughs> okay. I mean, look at that. We got the ring card. Guys, I mean, it's literally... This is that clear. This person... This person's <laughs> feelings for you have skyrocketed, have escalated. As I say, to the point where it's like, now they need to get this show on the road. We've got Queen of Cups here and Seven of Swords. So it's like you're going to go from the worry, you know, this not having communication from them. Even though you're together, I have this as a couple that's together. It's just, I want to say, for some of you, it's been like a rough patch, which is why you've been questioning, like, how are they feeling right now? Like, what, as I say, like, what is going on? You're moving from this, being in Queen of Wands, like... You've tried to ask them, you know, you've tried to have like talks with them, but the talks just kept leading to this person shutting down, going to bed, like holding on to it, sleeping with it on your both your minds. And it's going to go from that to this person expressing how they really feel about you. Okay. This person has been dealing with a lot of frustration and... They feel the same way as you when it comes to that frustration. They also don't know why they've been acting like that. As I say, some of them shutting down. They're trying to figure it out. But this line of swords, not only is it anxiety here, it gives me energy of guilt. As I was saying, the guilt of something about these past ties. It, it can even be, I do hear like recently they had to cut someone off. A family member or someone that was like a best friend. They called a brother, but this person was using them. With that beggar there, someone was taking advantage of them. And I get that some of you pointed that out. And your person didn't like that at first. But look, their loyalty lies with you. Their love lies with you. And they're going to be coming forward. They're going to be telling you more, more information as to what really happened and what went down. Because I get that they've shut you out from... I mean, they have shut you out, but I mean also about the situation that I'm picking up on, okay? Okay. Yeah. Okay, how else is Pal one's person feeling right now? Because I hear, you know, you saying like, do you not want to get married anymore? Like, or did you not want to marry me? Is that what this is about? Do you feel like you made a mistake? Okay, 
and they just don't know how to express it in a way that's not going to add more fuel to the fire because so far they've kept getting it wrong but here it's like something is shifting and they're going to be able to provide clear communication reveal exactly what it is and that it actually is not about you and their feelings changing for you no the feelings for you are the same it's what they've been dealing with so we've got knight of pentacles okay what else these cards, ten of wands, yeah, it's the it's the burden, it's the overburden, and okay, for some of them, it connects to finance, so look, how they've been feeling right now, it's clear there's no doubts about how they feel about you, it's still on track, it's more about how they've been feeling about themselves with these burdens, ten of wands, and responsibilities, they feel overburdened, and as I say, for some of them, it's connected to money, it's like money's not coming fast enough, and yes, as I'm saying, there was someone around them that was draining them. Either they were loaning money, like, you know, as a friend to friend, but it's like this brother type vibe. So they felt it was okay to do that and that they could trust them. Because this person they trusted, that's what I know. With the venerable man, this is not someone who is careless with money or careless with the um, help he offers to people. No, he's, he's an enlightened person. Like he's smart, he's intelligent, he's the venerable man. He has self-respect. So that's why this has really messed this person up to the point where it's made you question, okay, is this about us? Like what's going on right now? Okay, let me see my oracle. Hey, can we get some final messages, please, for Power One? Anything else Power One might need to know right now? Coffin? Okay, yeah, this situation will, it will pass. As I say, it's like a rough patch. Okay, what else? What else, please, cards? Power One. And how that person is feeling right now? Okay, mature woman. What else? and labor okay yeah so also okay what i have here is again family ties are coming up and while i have this as representing the ending of this rough patch there is actually i'm seeing some type of loss here now i'm not saying the loss is happening that it's a future situation right now okay i need to confirm that but what I can see is, is that there's been a situation where they've had to spend, um, they've had to spend time before looking after someone. There's been somebody here, like I do have a mother figure, we've got mature woman, um, and it's like this lingers over them. This could have been recently, like they've had to let that go also, like a loss of somebody close in their family. Um, but here it's like there's something heavy about guilt and family, okay? Um, so as I say, there's been the cutting off there's been this loss. This has all contributed to this person feeling overburdened. And it can also be that, you know, they were responsible for paying for, um, you know, the this this past family member who, who passed away. Um, and look, the toilet and labor, they, they like had to use their own money. They had to sacrifice a lot financially. And this just put so much pressure on them because for them, it was like, how can I say no, this is family. I hope that's making sense so far, guys. Not all pockets will be for you, but definitely there's an energy here of them having to, they've had this stress of trying of trying to cut off family members or friends who are like family with money issues. But then there is a clear loss here that affects them in some way. And then we've got thoughts. Yeah, they, they just, they think about this person a lot. As I say, it can be a mother figure. It's it's somebody that they they were close to. And I have it as it passed. I do have it as it passed. But what I can say is, I'm gonna get one more card for you. Because I do see this, I do see a wedding. I do see a wedding, and I also have a re um like a reconfirmation of vows, you know. I, I forget the name of what it is when you do it again. Renewal, renewal, that's it. I see a renewal happening here. Yeah. It's going to be fast. In the sun. In the summer. Look at that. In the summer. Yes. Summer wedding. 
And you know the vision I had before about this kind of like this hot, warm island place? It's like some of you, you're going to either finally, okay, first of all, you're going to finally either have the honeymoon. There's been a delay on the honeymoon, right? It's on my, also my honeymoon card. The second thing is some of you are uh, actually going to get married abroad, okay, on this kind of exotic island and it's going to be the combination. Then there's the third group where I have this renewal and you're going to do it abroad. There's ties to abroad here. Your person could also have ties to abroad, you know, it's like coming from different lands. Maybe that's something you always dreamt of, having a wedding at home and then a wedding away. Or just you're going to decide to do some kind of mini celebration in that person's home country. I do actually now hear Jerusalem, so we're going pretty far. This card does usually represent like it's long distance, you know. Um... So there could be some Jewish heritage here, you know, Middle East, and then now here Palestine. But, it, you know, it could just be heritage. They could be second, third generation. And it is, it is one of those situations where something here about being passed down. What is that? And that's why they felt so much responsibility. Because in, in their upbringing, in their culture, it's like, we, we take that on. And it doesn't have to be, guys, okay, that's your heritage, of course. I know you know that. I'm just putting out the reminder, of, you know, if the reading has resonated up until now. Uh, but certainly something here about being abroad, the connection to you, renewing your, um, your situation, this rough patch will pass. And with the magician here, it, it just gives me that energy of like, it's a dream come true. Finally, something is manifesting for you. And it's very positive. The sun card doesn't get any clearer than that really yeah yes so no no need to worry okay this this is gonna pass and it's your person how they're feeling right now it's to do with what they're going through personally it's not about them falling out falling off track with you um and how they feel no no and they will let you know they will let you know what's up okay thank you pal one let's move on to pal two let me know in the comments if it resonated. Like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you soon. Okay. see someone getting a really big hug like two a couple hugging each other somebody's so smiling right now oh my goodness i see someone getting a gift but it's like it's like a car you know when you get those cars with a big bow on the front <laughs> that would be nice but no i'm actually seeing it for some of you <laughs> that would be nice for me and for my subscribers. All right. That's good. Okay, welcome to your reading pal two. How do they feel about you right now? Ooh, Knight of Cups. Yeah, somebody... Okay, this person, they feel like, first of all, they want to... They want to overwhelm you, right? They want to overwhelm you... It's like they don't want you to have any other options available. We've got Knight of Cups. So this person is in a very seductive energy. Some of you could be dealing with, you know, Scorpios here. Um, and that said, I also have like fire sign energy. It's like this charming, there's a charmer, right? I've got in part two. They want to charm their way into your life. But it's like they've got to have all of you. They're feeling right now here because with Knight of Cups, it's that love at first sight type energy. So I've got like a bit of an infatuation energy. They're feeling infatuated with you right now, especially late at night. Okay, what else? I also have Pisces mail coming from that card. Okay, we've got Seven of Cups. Ooh, you're a temptation to them. You're a temptation. Seven of Cups here is, well, it's temptation, first of all. Uh, this is also my one of my affair cards. Now, I'm not saying that's what's going on here, but there's something here where it's like they can't, 
get you and it's driving them wild because as I say, it's like they want to overwhelm you. They want to uh, like seduce you. It's like something here about a fantasy. There's a fantasy here. They're feeling um, fantasies about you. Like, you know, they're feeling they, they just, yeah, they want to have a fantasy, like have play out this scenario with you. So I'm not saying you're taken in part two or they're taken, but it's like something is very tempting about you to them. Okay, what else, these cards? How else is part two's person feeling about them right now? I mean, okay. So there's one more thing. This card is showing up different here. Now, what it is, is like, yes, the temptation, but it's like they're having to force themselves not to... Uh, rush it not to um, take it to that place yet because they actually like you they have feelings underneath but this person is used to being like sexual like to them they are a natural seducer I mean like mm, I've got like a, a like an athlete vibe it's someone who's working out they look good they smell good like they get what they want but with you, they want to go slow and it's really challenging for them. They feel like you, in a way, you have put some kind of spell on them because they're thinking about you. I know this is feelings, but like it's connected here. They're thinking about you constantly. Like they're running out, they're running this fantasy through their head because they feel really turned on by you. What else? What else, please, cards? How to person and how they're feeling about them right now. Okay, who are you? Eight of Swords. Yes. It's like they want to jump up on you. <laughs> yeah, like they want to um, like capture you. You see how she's like in that box? I mean, not in a scary way. <laughs> but it is, it's just like, I, they want to have you. But look, this is also like a bit of a secret energy, hiding energy. So, hmm. are we getting to the tea now? Some of you taken in part two. What is going on here? I need more information. Okay, cards. How else is part two's per uh, personally feeling? <laughs> feeling <laughs> right now. How is part two's person? Four of Cups. Yes. So, this is someone who can't be with you right now. Four of Cups nostalgia. Looking back, like it's past. So this is somebody that you're not with right now. And this is what, the, okay, yeah. So some of you either, you've moved on, you're dating others. I don't have though that you're like attached to somebody. Like maybe it's just you're having fun. You're just putting yourself out there, but they think you might have moved on fully. But I don't get that you have watching. Um, and they're watching from the sidelines how to get back in again. It's absolutely that. And Four of Cups, yeah, because this is a past energy. It's, as I say, it's like nostalgia. It's missing. Wow, look at that. Three Cups cards, guys. This person, if you didn't think they had genuine feelings and then it was just all about like chemistry, no, no, this person hid that. And I hear them saying like, I just want it to be me and you. And I don't like all this that you're doing. I don't like it that other people are getting to see you in that light. I don't like it that other people are getting to see you, like, if you're posting yourself, if you're being, like, you know, just all in your goddess, like, you know, just that gorgeous vibe. They don't like it. They don't like it at all. This is, a, they, you know, they have a, I mentioned the infatuation energy, but they feel obsessed towards, no, they feel possessive towards you. I have them saying, when they see a picture, they're like, that's, that's mine, that's still mine. It's only a matter of time. But for some reason, I see some of you watching laughing. Like you don't take them seriously. Got some fire signs watching here. Okay, what else? Seven of Pentacles. Yeah, look at that. They, they're like, you've got options. You moved on seven twice. They're up at night worried about this, by the way. They're, they're up at night worried. So they're feeling worried about you. Okay, they're feeling worried that you've moved on. They're feeling worried that they've missed their opportunity with you. What else, please? What how to? Yeah. 
because they're attached, the bound men. Look at that. So they're feeling like they just can't get you out of their head, out of their heart, out of their feelings. Listen, I don't, in part two, I feel like some of you, listen, okay. Some of you did do something here as in some kind of magic spell work. Others, it's just you have this ability, okay? So it can be two things. Either literally you did do some kind of ritual on them um, and it, it, it's worked. It, this is proof it's working, worked. Um, and also um, some of you just have this energy about you that you're able to like bewitch, um, you know, the opposite sex. And you do it through your sexual energy. Um, you just, you got that like water. It's the water energy, something here. And I'm going to keep this PG <laughs> as much as I can. But what I know is this person is saying like, um, okay, <laughs> how can I? <laughs> this person is like, okay, so the first moment when you guys like get to it, this is what they remember. That's what I'm saying. I'm keeping it PG, okay? Until I do my 18 plus. I mean, I say 18 plus anyway, but you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So that moment, <laughs> they, they can't find it anywhere else. They can't get it out of their head. And maybe you did some kind of like incantation at that time, you know, at that moment, like this, it's like there's just this snap of the moment where the, the energy is so heightened and I know it's like you did something knowingly or unknowingly because as I see it, it's just like this is your energy you can also be water sign watching doesn't have to be I got fire sign energy before and I do get some earth signs here in particular Virgo yeah but listen they're attached to you what I can say is they're not gonna go away they're not gonna just stop yeah they're, they're not they're, they're gonna try and come back here this is actually gonna yeah Okay, let me go to my oracle action now. Okay, can we get some final messages for Pal 2 and how that person is currently feeling about them, please? Judication. Yeah, they feel like something wasn't fair. Wealthy man. Yeah. I saw that image before, like the vision of someone receiving a, a car. You know, something here is going to be given very big to, to, to win you back. They feel like something isn't fair. They feel like you didn't give them a fair chance. They feel like they can give you more. So they're feeling like, yeah, they want to come back and they want to win you over. It, that's just clear. That's just clear. They, they feel like you've got better options. So it's making them want to make a bigger effort. They need to outdo these options. And this person has money. Some of them can be an athlete. They can be in the public eye. They can be, um, you know, even a rapper here. I've got, especially with Knight of Cops. Um, and also like, it's someone who, you know, they're, they're seeing for their work. It could be fitness guru, but something here and a connection to social media. Um, and girl, you got that yummy, 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 yum. Something like, yeah. And that's it. I can't wait, can't wait. Mm -hmm. And, but yes, so they're, they're coming back to claim what's theirs. They, it's not that they feel you owe them something, but they just, that's it. They just don't feel like you gave them a fair chance. This was not a long connection I have. It didn't get to titles, but this person, they're coming back for a title. They're coming back to get something official here. See that? Maybe even to be like, listen, get, game's over. No more playing. I see you putting yourself out there. Uh, yeah, I get it. I get it. Listen, let's make this something more. Yeah, they, they, they don't like it at all. As I say, with the Bauman, they see you as being theirs and they're like, you're not being shared with anybody else. Yeah. That's what I have, pal, too. Okay, let me know in the comments if it resonated. Like, share and subscribe. And thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate the watches, the subscribing, the likes. And I love, love, love to get comments, okay? So, thank you. All right. Let's get to part three. Hmm. I'm seeing.
seeing someone staring at their phone. Looking at some messages. What's that? Somebody isn't answering someone. Someone hasn't heard from someone in three days. These are general messages right now, but it can be connected to part three. Okay, I'm just suddenly getting them. It can be for somebody watching, okay? Even if you picked another pair. And somehow you're here as well. <laughs> okay. I'm hearing three is a crowd also. Interesting. All right, let's take a look at the overall energy. We've got the temperance. Yeah, see that? Look at that. It's one of the no contact cards. Something here, there's like distance. Uh, you know, it's cold. The energy is cold. There's a waiting period here. Yeah. And before I did feel like somebody is spiraling, like going, like what's happening? What's going on? What's going on? And it's like, there's no balance. No communication. Okay. Can we um, see please cards? Uh, how is Pal 3's person feeling about them right now? Oh, we've got Knight of Cups again. Well, you know what I have here? Okay, hold on. Can we... Oh, all right, all right. But then, I know, okay. All right. Okay, so this is interesting. <clears throat> so first of all, as I was saying, I've got there's a pause here. There's no communication and I, and I get that it's the person, right? They've not been communicating with you. Something stopped and I hear it was out of the blue. Now, before I did get three as a crowd and I've got three of pentacles. So while it's not my typical three of cups, like third party, there's something here about three and this person isn't fully available. So, but let me keep going, okay? Um, I mean, I'm going to keep going, but story will unfold. Now, when I saw the Knight of Cups, I immediately heard manipulator. So this person here, they are emotionally manipulative. And then I got my devil card, which is the hands down. Okay, it's got a lot of meanings. But with that and manipulation energy, there's some toxicity here. And then I've got my Knight of Pentacles, which is my sneaky card. This is the thief card. So they hid that they had some other options, right? Now, I'm not going to say the person is toxic, but they have been using toxic behaviors towards you. And this lack of communication is a way to have control. Devil is also about control. They want to have control over you and make sure that when they do do, do this disappearing act, you're the one who's looking for them. Now, we've got Ten of Cups and Ace of Cups. I need to know more about this because with that energy showing up there, this manipulative energy, um, I'm not sure what this is telling me because these are very positive cards. Okay, Spirit, can I have more information on Ten of Cups and Ace of Cups? What are you telling me? regarding these cards and how power this person feels about them. Okay, the magician and the foot. I mean, yeah, guys, this person is extremely manipulative. The magician as well. And the fool. Okay. So the reason why I've got the Ten of Cups and Ace of Cups here is because this person, they, they feel like this is the way that they can have you, have you, I want to say like on a continuous basis or have access to you if they play up to this role. But guys, what I'm getting is it's like they're going to play up to that role. It's not how they're feeling. In Pile 3, that they're, they're manipulator they're playing games and it's to have control over you this person can't be trusted i mean i, I can't say anymore it doesn't get any clearer i mean to the major arcanas 
the fool, the magician, the devil. I've got to show you this. Um, and also, I do hear it's like very covert, like it's it's al almost hidden in a way because I get that when this person is around you, they're very good to you. Oh yeah, generous, three of pentacles, you know? It looks all great and fluffy and nice. And even, even in this reading, showing up, ten of cups and ace of cups, but no, not with these cards at the side. No way. But what I do have here is, I feel like this hasn't gone so far yet. This may be early days for some of you, so this is good. You also take the temperance, take your time. Because this person, they, yeah. And you know, they're doing it through not just the emotion, but I also have like through sexual, um, through sexual power, like having sexual power with the devil and the knight of cups. What else here? What else? Okay, then we've got great fortune. Yeah, because you know what? You watching, you're very abundant. You're very, um, I even hear the word like gracious. You're very beautiful. You're everything that a man could dream of. Like you're the package. And in fact, you are the package for them. But this person is, they're hiding the, these traits about them because also with the knave of pentacles it is it's it's like behind your back it's like you you wouldn't see it coming and that they, yeah they, they would drain you of that they would drain you of that if they've not been already what else here please cards what else is going on in pal three I know this is very direct and like, but it's what I'm getting, guys. The cards are very strong. Of course, only take what resonates. High honor. Yeah, I feel like you, you're moving on to something else. Because it's not going to be high honor coming from that this person that's come up in this reading. House. Thief. Guys, look at that. Look at that. Okay, if this was just a, a confirmation for you of like, oh, maybe I don't need to hear from them again. I'm wondering like, did I do something? But actually maybe this is a blessing in disguise. Yes, it is. It is a blessing in disguise because you know why? They couldn't, they couldn't do it to you. They couldn't get the full grip on you. And it's like they did try everything. Oh, I'll be the devil today. I'll be the magician tomorrow. Then I'll be the fool the next day. None of it worked. Major energies. None of it. They were just... They were just going to take from you. They were just going to take from you, okay, Path 3? You're, you're moving on to something else. You're moving on to a new connection. Let me confirm it, please. Is Path 3 moving on to a new connection away from this person in Path 3? Can I get confirmation of that, please, Spirit? Thank you. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, okay. Call house. Lovers, change. Boom. Yes, you are. Look at that. Look at that. And now, this is a side note for some of you. This person who may have literally stolen from you. They may have literally taken something or they tricked you into signing some papers for a, a scheme or something like that. You are actually going to get that money back, literally because we've got courthouse and great fortune, along with that thief. Okay, I feel like they made you sign something like major, like maybe they said, okay, put my name on the, the deeds for the house, like I wanna buy something, but put your name on it, or the car, something like this, but it was a scam. We've got a scammer in part three. But they hid it very well, so. But you're moving on. That's what I asked Spirit for you as a message there. You got your answer. Change. Number nine, getting on track towards your destiny and lovers. And it's a blessing in disguise that they fell off with communication. Okay. I know that was like straight to the point, guys. But yeah, I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to be honest. 
and I want you to be empowered, okay? And the, the future is bright for you. You're the abundant one. You're the one who can go on, on and meet somebody new and you're gonna get back what was taken from you in the case that there was something literally stolen or you you know, you know got tied up into something. They tried to scam, uh, scam you with other people, pyramid scheme or something. It's like, you know, yeah. Okay, thank you, pal three. Let me know in the comments if it resonated. Okay, like, share, and subscribe. And thank you for watching. Okay, welcome to your reading part four. How do they feel about you currently or right now? Ace of Swords. Okay, so there's something here where communication is starting up again. Uh, some clarity is coming with communication. So they're feeling like they want to have some clarity with you, some open conversation, open talks. And I, I just have this energy of starting again, okay? I see that this person is going to want to meet up with you when they have this talk. There's initial communication, but then like it's to meet, it's to plan, there's planning energy here. They're feeling like they want to plan something with you. Okay, what else please for powerful and how that person is feeling about them right now? The truth and only the truth, thank you. You can expect this to be occurring within the next seven days. It's very quick, fast, um, quick moving energy. Someone who, it's like suddenly they're assured about something. It's like they're assured in their feelings. They're assured in this connection. And it's not that there was any doubts because look what I'm gonna take here. It's flipped over at the same time, King of Cups. Here it's like they've got to prove to you. But they, look, they, they have feelings for you. They love you. And right now it's like, look, they're a bit sad about you. Like, maybe you, maybe you rejected them in Powerful for some reason. Maybe not for all of you, but I know it's like this person needs to make an effort and now they're thinking, oh, I should just go back to the beginning, but I better not t waste my time. I better just take a step back and start again. You know, Ace of Swords, like, let's go back to the beginning. There was maybe a misunderstanding here. Like, I, I do love you. Like, I have feelings for you. Don't, don't act hastily right now. But it's like they see you leaving. You know, there's a woman, two women on there, but, you know, it represents the woman here. It's like maybe you started to charge forward and was like, what? No, I'm, I'm not waiting. Something like this. Okay. All right. What else, please? For powerful. King of Wands. What else, please? Ace of Wands. <gasps> Ooh. Palfa, I, I feel you have two options here. But let me check that. Two options are showing up in this reading. Um, yeah. Okay, so, <clears throat> yeah, you, you definitely, you, you, there was a rejection here because we've got five of pentacles. This person was like left out in the cold, literally, you know, literal meaning of the card, but it's like a blocking card. It's, you know, it's no communication. Like I'm not dealing with you. And especially with Ace of Swords being there at the beginning. So how they're feeling, first of all, they, they want to come back towards you. They want to get the communication open again by whatever means necessary, by taking some strong action towards you, okay? Meeting, they want to get you in person, not just talking on the phone, texting, because they know they're not going to get you like that. I feel like King of Wands here can also be representing your energy. 
you you are um you know your energy is here there everywhere you're an outgoing person for some of you right or not even not i don't even mean you have to be out like side all the time it's just you will be independent and do your own thing you have like a masculine streak to you i'm talking to like you know the female here um like because there's something here where they can't control you um that's that's the first part and it's like they're having to tread very carefully see this knight of pentacles like they're having to take oh inch by inch i don't want to throw her off again i don't want to as i say like going back to the beginning and then we've got Ace of Wands. So this also is new start, new beginning, okay? Um, here there's gonna be a new spark in the passion, the chemistry, okay. What I have also for you watching is that it's like there wasn't a spark for you necessarily. No, there was attraction, but then it's like this person, in a way, they were a bit too um, emotional. And normally that's what we, we're trying to get, right? It's like. <laughs> open up tell me but in this case it was like for you the not necessarily a turn off but it was too soon it was something along these lines and while you appreciate words you you actually love a man of action or something like this like you love to see the action you're not so much wanting to sit for hours and talk thing but this person is you know we've got the water signs there pisces are here first scorpio then cancer and I just have here, it's like the female in the dynamic, she's the one who is the, the risk taker or more of the action taker. And this person is the emotional one. But it's it matches, the energy matches because it's the archetype. This King of Cups could be an artist, a creator of some kind. Um, and you maybe you have your own business yeah okay so yeah how they're feeling about you like overall is like they don't want to lose you this is clear and they have feelings for you like they, they love you they are very like they're even moping around without you but you're like out there living your life <laughs> it's not that you don't care but look yeah, i'm just seeing you being this kind of once female or not like like you're not waiting for them okay what else what else here? Please look out from. What else? Yeah. So that yeah, you see that? Look, they, they wanna talk to you. That they, they just first of all, they just wanna talk. <laughs> it's like, can you please unblock me? <laughs> can you please just open the communication? Right now that's all they want, right? That's how they're feeling. They're feeling like they just wanna talk with you. Let's just take a step back. Let's chill. <laughs> this is King of Cups. Like, let's chill for a second. It's the King of Wands, but here, like, it's the Queen of Wands. You know, if you're the female, like, just chill, and you know, let's not make any hasty decisions. Um, that's how they're feeling. That's how they're feeling, and they, yeah, they they want to get into some deep talks with you. Which, again, I feel like it's not really your style watching, but this. I hear will be worth hearing this person wants to offer you something okay they they were serious about you in the beginning and they still are nothing has changed but okay let me go to oracle it's like maybe there was like some stagnancy here just it got boring i don't maybe that it might sound a bit harsh, like, oh, boring, like, but it's not that. It's just, I have you being very, you need, like, I don't know, like, stimulation or something. And that's, I'm just speaking in general there. I don't mean, like, in sexual terms. Okay, can we get some other messages, please, for Pal 4 and how that person is feeling about them right now? Any confirmations, anything else Pal 4 might need to know or hear? Thank you, cards, the lovers. Great fortune. What else? Yeah, listen, they definitely, they love, they love like that part of the connection. That, you know, the bedroom, like the, 
yeah, the sexual side. I know I just said before about stimulation, but still it's not connected to that. It's something else. I'm just talking about in general. You're a go-getter. And this person is all in the flow of things. Like, and, that, and that's why they are, I have that they're a great lover. But, okay, then we've got child. Okay, listen, guys. Part four, I have something here coming up where it's like, this person is really loving, but even like when it gets to this type of thing, like they're really, um, some of you like melted. Like it was like, whoa, I've not felt this kind of love. Like it really was like the actual version of the lovemaking. This person pours their love into it. They're not the person who'd be like, let's get to it. And then like, we'll go out and have drinks or something like, no, they, they don't, that's not them. That That's not them. They want to like take care of you. The, the whole way and there's something here where I have for some of you you wanted to run away from that because then child came out so it's like it triggered something in you and while that is your nature anyway as I, as I have you coming forward as king of ones as I say whether you're female but it's like here it, the intimacy that that got too close for you you were like whoa 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 like hang on a second like I didn't sign up for this like yeah you wanted a relationship like and i don't even have it ended or anything like that this is like ongoing but it's in a way that okay there's no title yet but still it's like ongoing it's just it, there's a pause yes like i have some of you might have blocked them but i just mean for this person they don't see it as an ending and there's no ending cards here it's more like a transition and I just have that, it's like you run away from, and the great fortune, it just tells me this could be a really amazing connection. Um, but it's like dealing with some of this, it's, it's, tr it's something triggered from childhood. I know you felt safe. And that's how they feel, King of Cups. It's like they wanna, they wanna take care of you. They wanna like just love on you. And it's something I just have you're not used to. Not for all of you, but that's that's what's yeah that's what's going on, and that's why they're willing to put in that work. They're willing to take those like slow steps according to what you need. This person is feeling that they want to give you all what you need, and they're going to do it. They're going to take action on it. It's not just all words with them. While I I'm getting like yes, they are a talker. They want to go, you know. They like to process it. They want to talk, you know, hours at a time maybe. Um, but it's, it is, it's not just in vain. It's actually because they want to make something out of it. Yeah. That's what I have power for. Okay. Let's get one more card for you. Okay. Overall message for power four. Overall message for power four, please. Thank you for all your messages today so far. Spirit. Cards universe god yeah ten of uh, wands so as i say <clears throat> what's interesting is on this card it's it's uh waters on it so i just i get that you were triggered emotionally like you were triggered and that that's what i have um this person is opening up some like childhood issues but from that this is an opportunity to heal them. So while you're running now, right, and they're chasing you because they are, they are, um, and they, that's what, you know, they're in their feelings about you completely. I mean, I keep saying love and I, I'm using love because that's what it is. Because this person is, look, they're willing to go over, put themselves through the fire, like put themselves through the challenge which is going to take time because they see something in you. They, they feel love for you. You can only do that when there's love. Because this person is willing to like, yeah, as I say, go, go through the challenge. Uh, like no matter how long it takes, Knight of Pentacles, like this is slow. They, they see that, they understand that. And they're not going to ask you to go faster than what you have to. They just want to talk. They're just really, they're going to try and do what they can to get you to at least talk to them. Yeah, so I have. Okay, thank you, Pal, for 
Let me know in the comments if it resonated. Okay, thank you so much for watching. Like, share, and subscribe. Um, I'm hoping to get some more videos out over the next uh, weekend. I've got some time, hopefully. Um, so look out for those, okay? Hit that bell notification for when it first comes out. And um, yeah, great to connect with you today. And I'll see you soon. Bye.